Hey, I'm Alan Brito from Blender 3D Architect and welcome to this tutorial about editing DWG files with open source software. Uh, whenever I have the opportunity to make a recommendation or to create a list of alternatives to migrate from closed source software to open source, uh, there are a few options or migration options that are quite straightforward. For instance, if you are trying to migrate from SketchUp, uh, it's quite easy to recommend Blender as a replacement for SketchUp. It can even do a lot more than SketchUp. But when it comes to CAD, we have a few alternatives. And depending on your experience, depending on uh, of your needs, you might go uh, with one or another option. Uh, two of the alternatives that I often recommend are QCAD, which I have here installed on my computer. This is what I have here on my screen and we also have LibreCAD. Many people prefer LibreCAD, many people prefer QCAD. In fact, LibreCAD is a fork, is a derivative software from QCAD. Uh, what I often recommend for architects, for designers and engineers is to work with QCAD because it offers an option to uh, use a professional version. Let me explain how it works and how you can edit DWG files with QCAD, the open source option, the open source version of QCAD. Why am I referring to QCAD as the open source version? Are there many versions of QCAD? Yes, we have two versions of QCAD. Let me bring the website here just to give you an idea of what, of what I'm talking about. When you visit QCAD.org to download QCAD and go into the download section, you will notice that we have two versions. One, which is the QCAD Professional, and the other one is the QCAD Community Edition. The Community Edition is the open source version, which is available under the GPL 3.0 license. What is the difference uh, with the professional version? The professional version of QCAD adds a few additional uh, resources and uh, tools which are not open source. For instance, it adds an option to open and edit DWG files, but it doesn't mean that we can't use this specific uh, resource with the open source version of QCAD. For instance, I have this file here open in QCAD. This is the community version of QCAD. Let me just show you. The this is the community version. This is the open source version of QCAD. And this was a DWG file. How, uh, what is the secret to open a DWG file with the community version of QCAD? The secret is to use a converter which is the exact same software used in the QCAD professional version. Uh, the benefit is that it will be bundled with the professional version. You don't have to make any exterior conversion uh, process to open the, 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 the DWG file. Let me show you how it works. And the first thing you need is the software that we'll be using to make the conversion between DWG and DXF, which is this one here, the older file converter. By the way, I will leave uh, all the links of all of the resources, everything that I will be talking about in this video in the description, so you can download it yourself and try to make uh, these conversions. With the older file converter, we can get basically any DWG file and convert it to DXF. Uh, like I said, it's not um, it's not open source. It's a freeware. Uh, and by the way, if you are uh, wondering, well, why it is it isn't it uh, open source? Why can't we edit DWG files with open source software? Autodesk is not really that friendly with open source. They would have to open uh, their software to read and write DWG files to make it uh, possible to open those uh, resources with, for instance, Blender. And the GPL license is not really compatible with this kind of, uh, of software, so they can't really open source the older file converter, which is fine. You can use it 
as a freeware. And it's uh, available for Linux, Mac OS, and Windows. It's a freeware, it's a quite simple software. All we do, uh, the only purpose of all the file converter is to make conversions between DWG and DXF. Once you download the software and install it on your system, let me show you how it works and how you can uh, make a quick conversion between DWG and DXF. Let me just close this file and I will bring the other file converter, which is this software. As you can see, it's quite simple. It's just a converter. It will convert your DWG files into DXF or the opposite. It can also convert a DXF to DWG. Let me bring here two folders. Why do we need two folders? Because uh, all the file converter will not make a single converter. Uh, it will not convert a single file. You have to do this in batches. It will look for files in a folder, in uh, an input folder. It will process all of the files inside this folder and convert them and save to an output folder. You can't point to a single file. For that reason, you need to specify here an input and output folder, which I have here. Notice that I have a DWG file here as an example. And by the way, you will see that I have AutoCAD installed on this computer, but it's because uh, I had AutoCAD in the past installed here. My license expired. It was uh, during the time that I was writing uh, my book on AutoCAD 2020. Five. Now I have here my input folder, output folder. You have to select here what type of uh, what uh, file types you need or you want to process with file or the other file converter. You can choose either DWG, DXF, or both. I'll be using DWG and the output folder you wanna save. I'm using the 2013 ask two. DXF. This is a plain text file. It's uh, easier to read. You can basically interact with uh, anything using this format. You can even read and extract data using Python, for instance, with uh, this type of file. And if you press the start button, it will convert. And here we have our DXF file. Now, if I'm back in QCAD, go into the open file open we have an option to import or to open this file and we can easily see the results here this was a dwg file of course depending on the way the file was created or the resources it uses, you might have to make a few adjustments, but this is a full-fledged uh, CAD editor. You have to make some small changes here to hatches, to text. But as you can notice, it will import everything. It will bring the blocks. Let me bring here the block list. We have all the blocks. We have layers. You have the property editor here where you can make changes to your drawing. This particular drawing here is using Imperial units, but you can easily change that from the edit, drawing preferences, drawing unit. You can make changes to the units you are using to create this drawing. And this is it. This is how you can use an open source software to make uh, changes to a DWG file. You save, you make changes here with uh, this, uh, this project. Edit your project. Uh, and once you are satisfied with the results, you can save it as a DXF. And if you need to send it back as a DWG, you can use all the file converter again to make the change from DXF to DWG. And this is it. This is how you can use open source software to edit a DWG file. Of course, we need help from a freeware. 
but uh, it's a part of the workflow and it will give you it will give you access to the to the dwg file to make changes to edit to uh, include information to make changes to dimensional lines uh, or anything that you need to deliver your design and like i said i will place uh, i will list all of the links uh, in the description of all of the resources and it, everything that i used on this tutorial you can download qcad you can download uh, all the file converter to make those edits to start using open source software for your uh, design workflows and by the way if you want to learn more about qcad i do have a workshop on qcad i will also place a link there i have this workshop on gumroad you can stream or download the content it's a seven lesson workshop where i will teach you how to use qcad from scratch uh, with an architectural project uh, we'll make all of the layouts designs uh, set up layers uh, use blocks and import dwg assets uh, to use in this project like blocks or uh, any other resource that you need to complete this design I will leave a link to the workshop in the description. If you uh, decide to take the workshop, thank you. It helps uh, support my work here on Blender 3D Architect. So I hope you like the content. And if you are not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe so you won't uh, miss any of the new contents related to open source design architecture, uh, everything that I do here on Blender 3D Architect. See you next time. Bye.